I'm going to teach you some really good tricks and some really essential things that no one really talks about. So if you like how this video is going to go and you are feeling this look because I am feeling this look so much, then make sure to keep watching. So step one is skin prep. Now, if you know me, you know what I'm going to say. Now, I didn't get a baby one. I got the massive one. This is huge. This is literally... What is this? What's, how many? I don't even know. But it's freaking massive. It's sunscreen, guys. Lie your sunscreen. Time I would not do this is if it's literally like 8.30 at night. I won't apply it. But any other time... Oh, I didn't realize how white that is. It is very lightweight, actually. Oh, I hope this doesn't leave a residue. Okay, thank God. I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I just got a huge tube of whiteness. The worst thing that you can do is apply, first of all, your foundation up to your under eyes. Second of all, cake it on as I am. I personally hate putting foundation on my lips, so there we go. I love to go in with my face cream and my eye cream. I always say hydrate your eyes. Our eyes are so dry. Now, just to finish this side off, I am putting some purple on. I don't think anyone ever really talks about dry lips, but it's good to apply purple on your lips, especially when you're gonna do your whole face. By the time you get to your lips, it's gonna be so smooth and it's gonna look another beautiful don't do your triangle i still don't believe that this is happening i used to do this i'm also going to put it on my eyelid less is more especially when you're actually going out you don't need that much product <laughs> my gosh i look like the person from scream no what do i look like it's a scary movie guys oh my god I look like the Halloween movie, the scary Halloween movie. That's exactly what I look like. You don't need this much concealer. Throughout the day, no matter how much powder you set it with, it's going to get cakey. It's literally going to like start crusting off throughout the day, no matter how good it is. And don't bring it too far up. The whole reason is concealer is to cover up the issues. So for this section, when we do our concealer, I'm going to show you exactly why we're using it. You don't need to cover up blemishes here. That's what the foundation is for. If you still have some pimples or some texture, use your concealer to spot conceal. You don't need to bring it down because then your face is going to get droopy and we don't want that. So please, no more big triangles. Plus when you blend it out, did you see how I blended it out and it ended up down here? We're moving the concealer. The whole point of the concealer is to blend it where we need it to be. Just remember that. Now I'm going in with my foundation. I personally like to dot where my foundation is and then I go in with a fat fluffy brush fat fluffy brush whatever and I start dabbing it in you can also use a beauty blender I just really love this brush for foundation and do you see how I'm avoiding my eye area Don't forget to do your ears as well especially if they're showing whatever parts are showing you want to make sure that you have your foundation now do you see how that actually matches or concealer on this side getting my ring finger and I'm doing three dots and that's it. No more, no less. Because this is very thick as well. So I don't want to put more product than is needed. So my eyes crease. We don't want that. Putting a little dot on my chin. I like to put it around my nose. Just there where I get a lot of redness. And just a bit on my forehead. You can use a beauty blender. I just like to use this fat fluffy brush. I kind of go in with a beauty blender. If I really want or need to, I don't do it as often anymore. I'm just going back and forth very lightly. A little trick is if you want to kind of prevent as many creases as you want or can, a little tip is go with your brush or your beauty blender and just literally look up and keep going back and forth. Make sure you're going lightly. And I am not putting this on my eyelid. <laughs> so on this eyelid, I'm actually going in with, put a bit too much, with a primer. This is the Gerard Cosmetics one. 
and I'm taking a fluffy brush because I don't want it to be too thick. I personally love going in with the primer because it holds the shadows better and it isn't made for your under eyes. It doesn't crease as much. It holds pigment better and it blends it very well. You look crazy. So next, don't. Baking. I know I'm gonna get a lot of people be like, what? You don't bake? Our eye, our under eye is again so dry, it's so sensitive, it's so thin. Right now I can feel everything being sucked in. I can feel the creases coming. I can feel everything coming. Now it might look good for about 20 minutes, but wait, give it an hour and look at how your under eye starts to look. It starts to look so crackly. And also I haven't even said it before I did my baking. So if you do want to bake, I would suggest setting it first, then baking, but I would only bake for about, if I really, really wanted to, probably like 10 seconds. And with this one, I'm just using a very light hand. I don't set my whole face. I don't think it's super necessary. I set areas where I don't want it to look shiny. So usually that's the top of my forehead and a bit on my chin. I also like doing this section here because I get a lot of pores, but I don't set my whole face and I haven't been for years. I don't do it on my clients and I haven't had any problems or issues. So that is just a tip from me. If you want to try it out, let me know how you go. I'm going in with a very deep shade and I'm taking it on a big fluffy brush for contour. I am going to start from here. Now I understand that we want shoes and contour. This is just not the way to do it. Now for chin, I see this a lot. Forehead, because people think that they always need to. It depends on your, I personally think it depends on the size of your forehead. Hmm, a little bit crazy. Also, when you start blending with this, you tend to actually bronze your whole forehead and then it kind of just, I don't know what I just did there, but it doesn't look great. I just did a video on my Instagram about contouring for noses, but let me know if you guys want to see this. Don't just go down. I see a lot of people do this. That just actually brought more attention to my nose. Our noses, no matter what, are gonna bring attention. So why would you put so much contour? I see all these TikToks and stuff like that of people getting the thickest amount of bronzer and just going crazy. In real life, it looks so bad. And no matter how much you blend it out, it's still like, it's just, like, do you see? It's just not a vibe. It's not a vibe. For this side, I am going in with my shade and light palette. And I'm actually taking these two shades. I personally like to mix shades. You don't have to. You can use either or that you feel like is suitable for your skin tone. And I'm taking this on a very small blur blush, I was going to say. Not yet. Now, a tip that I like to do, if you don't know this, if you don't have, if you can't feel where your cheekbone is, get your brush or get anything, hold it at the top of your ear and literally just kind of rest it. Now that is exactly where you want your contour to be. And like I said, you want it to end either where your eyebrow ends or your eye, which isn't usually that far apart. I like to do it where my eye ends. So I'm getting it and I'm very lightly dabbing that there and I'm not bringing it further than that I'm not bringing it further than that now with my jaw I personally like to very lightly kind of connect it and just very lightly give myself a bit of a jawline key to this is hold your brush very far away and just kind of let it do the work for you like let it just like flap and I very lightly flick up when you flick up, it's actually gonna just be more aesthetically pleasing. Blush is something that I always say can change your face the most. This is what I see the most. Smile. Can I just tell you something? When you smile, what do you think is gonna happen when you stop? It's gonna go down. I never recommend smiling and just putting it on the apples. I see this all the time. That was really hard to see to keep smiling like look at that do you see what we have done do you see what i have done to my face now i'm not gonna lie i used to do stuff like this i used to actually always smile but you don't need to smile 
you don't need to smile at all it's not essential it's not mandatory it actually makes it look worse because what like i said when it droops it's gonna just look like that yeah all right when you smile you're gonna have nice cheeks but is that the whole point of it i like a lot of blush now what i'm doing remember every face shape is different but usually i like to start at the end of my brow and i like to stipple it back Because we always want our contour and our blush to marry together. So when you're married, you're one, right? We want them to be one. For my face, I like to bring the blush a bit up. Go back in with my foundation brush and I very lightly just blend the two together. And with highlight, I like to start at the end of my brow and I like to very lightly bring that just your nose and we're just gonna go crazy now i won't lie stuff like this looks great on camera find that when you're going out i see a lot of people bring their highlight here why would you want to emphasize your texture we don't want that girl you bring it here you're bringing attention to stuff we don't want to bring attention to the whole point of this is to look youthful and fresh and daisy so for this eye i am gonna start by bringing my dark shadow where do you think you're going to be blending that out to? Let's try and see. Now a little tick, tick, a little trip, a trip. Oh my God. A little trick. Gosh, that I like to do is I go back in with my shade and light palette and I like to take the darker shades very lightly. Put that all over my lid, my mobile lid. The reason I like doing this is because it kind of creates a more mono monochrome look very lightly blending that up the reason why i like to put it on my mobile lid first is because when i do blend it i'm actually just going to be blending it along my crease i'm not going to be blending that further than what i did when you think about it when you start blending further up you're actually just literally using that same shade to go crazy and you don't end up having any lid space and that isn't a really fresh look so i've just kind of it's, it looks like I have a lot on, but it's actually not much at all. I'm going in with that deeper shade and I just want to darken the edge a bit. So I'm very lightly placing it inside my socket, blending that that way. So done a liner video showing you how to perfect your liner every single time. But let's do this eye first. So I'm taking a brush. I just personally like to use a brush and I'm actually going to go quite thick. You just keep going longer and longer until you feel like it's somewhat there. This isn't really my style. I'm going, I'm stamping and with my wing. Like I said before, if you've seen my video, super easy. I personally don't like big wings all the time, not for every day. I just like to do this inner part here just to kind of accentuate my eye a bit more. I am going back in with that bronzy shade and I'm very lightly just putting that under my eye. Now a little trick, if you do feel like you have a lot of creases, just kind of bring it a little bit lower and it will kind of just hide or I guess distract people from the actual crease. Do you see how it kind of just looks so fresh? But you don't need to use a black to go in and buff that out. Eyebrows, my favorite thing. I personally just like powders and I'm going in with a lighter shade. I hold the brush quite far. And I like to personally start always underneath. I never really do the top. The only time I do the top is if I wanna mimic hairs and I'll go all around. But I kind of just like to either hold the brush down or I do little section. I have done a video as well about brows. If you want to see, I'll list it up here for you. Line we did at the bottom. I use that to blend it up. We are going to do the same thing. The only difference is we're going a bit darker. And I'm doing it at the top too. So when you're contouring your nose, I personally like to bring it in a bit more than I thought I would. And I use a, I like to use a fluffy brush. And I use a very, very light hand. But do you see how that kind of just made my nose look more cool? There are some shades that just don't work well with us. And this is definitely one of the shades that I feel isn't my thing. This is like very um, Jodie Shaw, Jersey Shaw, Jodie Shaw. 
kind of vibes I'm getting. <laughs> so for this side, I personally like to line my lips, so I am going to line my lips. I'm going in with this Kat Von D lipstick. You tell me which side you like better, A or B. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to keep slaying and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.